From the anti-fashion of punk to the bold colours and shoulder pads of mainstream fashion, the 1980s presented style with a split personality. This didn't deter designer Gavin Raja from revisiting the era and finding inspiration in its spirit of activism. Gavin presented his homage to the 80s in a couture collection that opened the African Fashion International Fashion Week 2018. And we're about to share the experience backstage and at the ramp site. Cape Town's destiny has been shaped by the sea and the trade routes, and style is fast becoming another hot export for the city. Gavin Roger has played a major role in this development. Gavin Roger needs no introduction. He's been putting South Africa on the map for many years with his bold, intricate and elegant designs. Today we join him at AFI Fashion Week as he launches his new collection and homeware line. The designer believes that style shouldn't be limited to the wardrobe. Kevin, welcome back to Mela. Thank you. What for you is the highlight of this collection? The highlight for me is the launching of our homeware collection. I've always been doing interiors, I've always created things. So much of us spend so much of time at home. So interior is an extension of fashion. It's an extension of what you wear and what you portray and also what you want to be enveloped around. I love that everything is sustainable and locally made. Can you tell me a bit about that process and incorporating that into the collection? All the collection is made in South Africa. It also forms part of a very strong project called Behind the Seams where we've trained women to do beading and embroidery. So every single cushion you see that has embroidery on it or beading has been done by these group of women that I've trained. What's really important is that even the manufacture of the linen was done locally and sourced here. We have such talented kind of people, so it was amazing to just tap into those resources. Rather than using a conventional ram to display his couture collection, Gavin opted to have the models make their way around the venue. But this apparently casual presentation required some careful choreography. Where did the inspiration for this collection come from? This collection is largely driven by current trends for 2019 and also a very kind of huge inspiration around the 80s. For me, the 80s was this kind of new romance and also the birth of so many new things. But at the same time, it was a very dystopic kind of world, but the hair is very distinctively 80s. I've done kind of these exaggerated quaffs. It was like kind of looking back on a memory, leaving out all the nasty stuff and bringing all the nice stuff. An A-list of Cape Town fashionistas arrived for the event, looking forward to viewing Gavin's Back to the Future themed collection. Naturally, this was as much an opportunity to be seen as it was to see. But fashion is also serious business. African style is developing an international profile. Precious, how do you think African designers are making their mark on the world? The world has always taken inspiration from Africa, whether it's uh, through the arts and you look at the music. Africa is truly in vogue right now. So for us to work with the talented designers and showcase them on platforms that are internationally on par, it gives us great pleasure. Do you think more and more people are supporting local? Ten years ago, when I personally started in the industry, local designers were not really the preferred designers on red carpets. But now, it makes me very happy to see that they are well represented on red carpets. They have become household names, and you can find them in some of the big retailers in South Africa. This message was also the core of her opening address. The world has been our mantra, and it's something that we're very passionate about. The inspiration came from the 80s, but the execution was totally on trend. With a palette featuring saturated tones of tomato red, Ceylon yellow and ultraviolet. These were complemented by their gentler counterparts including lavender, rose and quetzal green. Classic monochromes presented minimalist elegance but also got the colors to pop while earth tones helped to keep things grounded. Super-sized shoulders offered a playful reminder of 80s power dressing in contrast to this timeless silhouette. A black Blade Runner's gown presented an edgy mix of romance and road warrior leading the way for a series of gowns that would make the wearer the bell of any ball.
Jasmine, congratulations on an absolutely incredible show tonight. Thank you. I particularly love the Rajasthani influence. What draws you to Rajasthan? Rajasthan is a place in the desert, but the one thing that just pops all the time is its colour. So there's a kind of resonance between the 80s colour and Rajasthan. While Gavin received well-deserved congratulations, Karishma chatted to the trendsetters. What were some of the highlights for you tonight? What I loved was the fact that he showed us a variety of looks. So we went from casual to a little bit of athleisure, which we see it coming back now. And then we went into the slightly more structured with the Tweety materials. And then he ended off with sort of like the splendor of the glamour, which we know, you know, Gavin for. Do you think more people are supporting local? If you look at the heavyweights that have chosen to attend a show by a local designer, it's a testament to see that actually people now are showing an interest. And I think more and more people are choosing to buy local because they seeing that like if you don't support the local designer who you know who's going to basically make them thrive how do you think african designers are making their mark on the world just with africa being on trend i see stuff like afro dandyism being revived and it's kind of just like the redefinition of black masculinities worldwide what did you think of the show tonight what i saw today was almost like a creative mind which goes beyond certain boundaries because when you watch and look at fashion Sometimes we become so confined to what we know every day. And for me, this was like a great musician creating music. Gavin's Ode to the 80s was a remix rather than a rehash, drawing on echoes of the rebellious past to create a fanfare for an exciting future.